Hey everyone, glad you were with us for the show today. Hey, we're gonna show you some great techniques and gear to help you catch more speckled trout. One of my passions is weight fishing shallow flats, and today I'm gonna bring you along with me as we jump out of the boat and stalk speckled trout. Hey, Let's Fish TV is on the air right now. That is a fish. Oh man, look at this. <laughs> It's time for the only program that brings you real-time fishing reports from the Southeast region every week. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at that. Woo! This is Let's Fish. Hi everyone, I am Captain Greg Verm, guest hosting for Barry today. I'm excited to bring you to the waters I got on 12 months a year in West Galveston Bay. I'm gonna be using a technique you may have never seen before, wade fishing shallow flats and shorelines targeting speckled trout. Hey, these fish are the most popular and sought after species all along the Gulf Coast. Today, we have our brand new Blazer Bay 2420 with all the top equipment you can imagine custom rigged by Jared and his team at Waypoint Marine in Corpus Christi. From the Lowrance HDS-12, the Double Power Pole Pro Series 2, and even a ladder for easy access in and out to wade fish. And I'll be using this today. Also, we will have weekly fishing reports from your local region from our team of inside reporters. Hey, let's get started, but first back to the studio for your weekend planner. Thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Let's Fish TV. The Salooner Tables are predicting good game fish activity throughout both days this weekend. Peak game fish activity begins around 9.32 Saturday and 10.06 Sunday morning. Evening activity will begin at 9.57 Saturday and 10.31 Sunday night. Plan to be on the water by either mid-morning or late evening for the best action. Expect the sun to rise at 6.55 and set at 8.02, and evenings will feature a moon that is 17% visible. We'll be right back to check all of the current fishing reports from throughout the area, and I will return with Bass Master Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock on this week's Ask the Pro feature. Stick with us. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Mercury. Go boldly. Lorenz, America's number one fish finder. Lose, feel the difference. And by Gulf Shores and Orange Beach, Alabama. Get our free fishing guide at orangebeach.com. There he is. Oh, 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 oh! There you go, folks. That is what we're here for. There he is. There he is. Oh, nice trout, nice trout. That's all right, there we go. All right, here we go. Right in the net, there we go. That's the way to start it off. Nice little speck here. Get him out of the net here. There we go. Way to get it started. We finally got the tide beginning to slack. And uh, looks like these fish might turn on now. What we're fishing here, y'all, we're fishing at the San Luis Pass. And just behind me, we have a big sand flat back here. And there's times when these fish will get up on the sand flat, chasing shad, mullet. Right now, we're fishing this gut. Let me secure this hook right quick. There we go. We're going to let this guy go. He's a keeper sized trout, but we're not keeping fish today. We're gonna let him go, get big. Springtime speckled trout action there. So what we have here, folks, we have a big sand flat right here. Bird Island's right back here. San Luis Pass bridge right over there. Well, I mean, we're in ankle deep water right here. Got about a six to eight foot gut right here. I call this the wall. I mean, it's almost a drop off right there. And we're just casting these uh, plastics into this gut and uh, waiting on them to bite. Springtime trout fishing here at St. Louis Pass. We'll see if I can't get us another one. 
Hey guys, welcome this week's Tennessee, Mississippi and Alabama Fishing Report. This week's report is brought to you by TH Marine. TH Marine has pioneered the marine market with aftermarket products that just make your fishing and boating so much better. Products like the uh, Hot Foot, products like the Hydra Wave, and tons of other things that once you have one, you can't live without them. Go to thmarine.com today and check out what I'm telling you about. You'll thank me later. Hey guys, there's a lot going on right now. This is a great time of year. A lot of the fish are around the bank. Um, the, the water levels are fluctuating a bunch because of rains and then they pull the water down. And if you're from this part of the, of the country, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's start in Mississippi and let's go to Lake Washington. Um, incredible crappie fishery probably doesn't get the notoriety it deserves because of, you know, Sardis, Enid, all the Tunica area lakes but Washington is on fire right now. They're catching big ones and they're catching lots of fish. So great place to be right now. Uh, in Alabama, I am going to the Coosa River. Uh, man, those big spots on the Coosa River are on fire. Uh, you can catch them uh, burning a spinnerbait. You can catch them on top and you could catch the biggest spotted bass of your life. In Tennessee, I'm gonna throw you a little curveball this week. I'm gonna take you to, you ready for it? I'm going to Old Hickory. Yep, you don't hear me say Old Hickory a lot on here, but here's what I know. Uh, the fish are starting, they're bedding there right now. Um, they're, they're really biting, guys are catching them dirt shallow. And that is when Old Hickory fishes its best, is when those fish get shallow, get around the bank, get around the grass, get around the wood. Uh, a lot of fish being caught pitching and flipping plastics. A lot of fish being caught on a, on a, on a frog, a buzz bait, and a spinner bait. So um, that's where I'd go in the three state region. This time of year, I don't know that there is a bad choice. So just get up here. We'd love to see you. God bless. There he is. Oh, 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 good fish, good fish, good fish, y'all. Hi, everybody. I got a great trout on right now. Come on, baby. Oh, good fish. Oh, yes. Nice fish. Come on, big girl. Come see me, I'm gonna let you go. We're gonna be nice to you today. Come on, oh, oh! Stay down, stay down! Woo! Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, nice fish. Stay down, stay down, stay down, girl. Stay, stay down, oh! Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, yes! Woo! There you go, folks. That is what we're here for. My goodness, look at this girl. Oh, good Lord, beautiful fish. Oh man, she ate it good. Look at that, let me get this hook out of her. We, oh, look at it, just come right out. Oh man, looky there. Let me get that out of the way. Oh, folks, looky there. Beautiful, beautiful speckled trout right there. These fish, it is springtime and they are beginning their spawn right now. These speckled trout will spawn starting right about now all the way through the summer months. Man, look at that fish. Beautiful fish. Beautiful. Whoo, good job. We're gonna let this girl go. She's she got her eggs just now starting. She's gonna make us some good babies. Reproduce for us. Beautiful fish. Nice. Good fish. Unharmed. Good job. Woo! Heck yeah, folks, man. I get my blood gets boiling. When I catch a good fish like that, there is nothing like it. I tell you, when you're working these baits, 95% <clears throat> of the time, the fish are gonna eat it on the fall. So you're working your bait up, you let it fall. Work your bait up, let it fall. All you'll feel, most of the time, you're just gonna feel a good thump. And that thump that you feel is that fish closing its mouth around that bait. Now, when you feel that, man, rule up that slack and you'll know if you feel a little bit of tension, bring it home. Man, that's a good fish. Whew. We might get something going here, guys. Let's do that again. I love this stuff. This is what I live for. My goodness gracious. Good stuff right there. Woo! Uh! Right here beside me. Ooh, nice flounder. There you go, folks. Nice flounder. Check out those teeth right there.
right here beside me. Oh, nice flounder. I'll tell you what, something we didn't mention. We got the spring flounder run going on right now. These fish go out into the Gulf to spawn and they start coming back in the spring. This one was right up here on the sledge. There we go, right in the net. Good job. Nice fish. Yeah, these were just right over there. It's the Gulf of Mexico and this is a great funnel area. In the fall, they leave the they leave the bays and go, go do their spawn out in the Gulf. And in the springtime, here we are, uh, they're coming back in. This boy, he ate that, he ate that uh, plastic too. Come on, buddy. Hang in there. Well, I got some teeth on them too. These, these are predators, I'll tell you. All right. There you go, folks. Nice flounder. There we go, that's a keeper for sure right there. Check out those teeth right there. Woo-wee! They are predator fish right there. Let's let this guy swim off. I'm gonna show y'all the rig that we're using today. We're using some soft plastics mainly. Uh, today seems to be the most successful. And what I'm using is I'm using 30 pound braid and I use a liter of fluorocarbon 20 pound liter. To connect it, we use a uni knot. Uni knot is a, is a great, great way to connect your mono to your braid or not your mono, this is fluorocarbon we're using now. But uh, right now we're using a one out of eighth ounce lead head and we're using this little twist lock with the snaps with a swivel on it. If you notice, it's easy to change your hooks out just like that, just a little, just like that. And then changing your baits out when you're wade fishing like this makes it really nice and handy. If you want to change heads, change uh, lead head sizes or swap over to a top water, uh, we're using an eighth inch right now. A lot of times the current through here, when the current's real swift, I'll move up to a quarter or maybe even a three eighths ounce lead head. And then once this tide starts slacking, I like a, I like a, a slower fall. Um, when you're working your soft plastics, mix it up a little bit. Uh, sometimes just a steady retrieve, a slow steady retrieve. Uh, sometimes a pop, pop, real, real, pop, pop, pop. Just swap it up a little bit. The, a lot of times that, that change in action is what'll, what'll, what'll entice the fish to strike. Um, swap your colors up a little bit. This seems to be the best bait today that we're using. It's a, a plum with blue metal flake with a chartreuse tail. Good sharp lead head. Let's see if we can't get us another one. There's no more healthier way to be outdoors than going fishing. And fishing along the southeast coast is really starting to turn on these days. I'll have all the details, but first this from our good friends at Mirror Lure. Mirror Lure, building quality saltwater lure since 1937, including the new line of Mirror Dean plugs. Turn on the bite anytime, tie on a Mirror Lure. Captain Robert Brody out of Biloxi in uh, Mississippi says that Red Drum Sheep's head and black drum fishing has been excellent along the coast there. He's also catching ground mullet and whiting around the jetties and piers and inshore state reefs. Uh, he's primarily catching those fish with cut bait, squid, and pink fish bites. Captain Brady says Kobe fishing also has been good around a Horn Island bar, and Spanish mackerel and sea trout are available along the Gulf side of the Barrier Islands. In Alabama, Captain Patrick Garmison says flounder are starting to show up in Mobile Bay and Mississippi Sound. Uh, great trout fishing is available uh, along the coast there when the water's clear. Sometimes it gets a little muddy and you gotta look for that clear water. He says the east and southeast sections of Mobile Bay have been very good. In Georgia, it's triple tail. Sight casting for triple tail is starting to turn on. These are great fish, two to eight pounds. That fishing will get better and better all the way through mid-June. That's from uh, Captain Greg Hildreth in uh, St. Simons Island, Georgia. He also says the sheep's head fishing remains very good on the near shore reefs. Well, that's it for the Southeast Coast. Get out of the water, stay healthy, and take a youngster with you when you go. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Motor Guides Tour Pro, Cable Steer Motor with GPS Anchor, Waypoint Marine, the Gulf Coast's leading saltwater boating specialist, Strike King, Taiwan On, and by Low Boat. Welcome to Low Country. All right, there we go. Another good solid speckled trout. That's another 17, 18 inch trout. They gotta be 15 inches to keep.
There he is. Oh yeah. All right. Another trout. That's all right. There we go. Oh yeah. Get this sucker in the net. Come on, girl. Come on. All right. There we go. Another good solid speckled trout. Nice fish. Some nice fish today. I tell you, the, the, the speckled trout here in Texas, speckled trout minimum length limit is 15 inches. This one here, uh, she's 18, 19 inches. Um, minimum length, length is 15 inches. Let's see if we can get her out where she don't unharmed. Another nice, nice speckled trout right there. Here we go. There we go. Beautiful fish. Lots of nice specks. We're gonna let this girl go here. Yeah, the minimum length on these. Better swim off. Go ahead, go girl. Go do your spawning. All right, nice. Yeah, the minimum length for the speckled trout here in Texas is 15 inches. And I tell you, there was a, a law that just changed uh, this past September. Uh, speckled trout prior to this past September was 10 per person per day. Uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife lowered it uh, to five now. So we can keep five, five. I was, I'm very happy with that new law. It's a great law. Uh, five fish is plenty for someone um, and it helps our population, uh, lets them get bigger. Um, and just a lot of good things come with that. So it's 15 inches, five per person. And I wanna go over another little thing with you, the diet of a speckled trout. Speckled trout feed on a lot of different things. Live shrimp is probably, live shrimp under a popping cork is probably one of the most uh, popular methods to catch speckled trout. I grew up doing that with my grandpa and my, and my dad. Uh, but speckled trout, we, like, we eat shrimp, shad, croaker, pinfish, mullet, and it changes different times of the year. In the winter time, the speckled trout, water gets cold, they don't eat as often, but when they do, they generally will eat larger fish. Uh, your bigger mullet, they just then they may only have to feed once every day or couple days or what have Time for your Carolinas report this week brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, we're running on modified hours right now during all this. Visit crazysistermarina.com for more information and we'll be booking charters again soon as this passes. We'll get you out there offshore to enjoy that incredible bite that's going on. We're going to talk fresh water and in South Carolina in particular right now, all of the public accesses have been shut down and closed to help prevent and straighten out that curve in this coronavirus. You You've got, you still got a lot of uh, possibilities of getting out and places to go, but I can tell you right now, if you can get out in your local neighborhood pond or that old farm pond that you've got that you used to fish and forgot about when you bought a boat, right now is a great time to get out and catch some incredibly big brim and bass, but coming out of that full moon, those brim have moved to the bed. Get the kids out there with you. They need to be outdoors as much as they can in all of this chaos, and it's your job to get them out there. Practice safe social distancing. Get those kids out. Put a cricket or a worm on the end of the rod and let them have a great time. This is your Carolinas Report, brought to you by Crazy Sister Marina. Remember, fish smarter, not harder, and keep your chaos organized. There he is. Ooh, come on, baby. Good fish. Great fish. Solid trout, man. I'll tell you what, San Louis Pass in the western most point of Galveston Bay is a great area in the spring. I mean, spring flounder runs going on. Man, this fish just don't want to give up. Come on in here, girl. All right. Nice. Another good fish, y'all. Beautiful fish. My goodness, these fish are pretty. Soft plastics, what they're wanting today. I'll tell you what, another great, great method I, I like to use catching these fish is top water. When they start eating the top water, I was hoping they would today, but we're not. There's another one. Beautiful fish. I tell you what, that's another 17, 18 inch trout. They got to be 15 inches to keep. We're turning them all loose today. 
I like seeing them. Seeing them live to fight another day. Heck yeah. Good deal. We're at San Louis Pass, y'all, and I'll tell you what, today has been a really, really good day. Uh, lots of fish, lots of bait is starting to show up. We got a good incoming tide, the tide swap. We had an outgoing this, uh, this morning, and now the tide's coming back in, um, changing our presentation up a little bit. Uh, fishing this deep gut. Got about a six to eight foot gut right here. Pops back up over there. I call that area over there. It's my nickname. It's called the wall. Um, you won't find it on a map or anything, but it pops up quick to about eight inches of water. Um, so this is just a really good gut. It gets overlooked a lot. Uh, there's generally a lot of boat traffic right up and down in here. And I, I, I personally don't really think that it, I've, I've been catching fish when they're feeding and they're in here. I've been catching fish as boats coming in and out because it's deep, it's not shallow water where it'll spook them as often and they're used to it. So gets overlooked a lot, but I tell you what, I've been fishing it for years and years and it, uh, it's paid off big time for me this time of year, springtime. Watch our latest episode or catch up on past episodes on our website at letsfishtv.com. Be sure to hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter for new fishing videos every day. And download the free Waypoint TV app to get all the latest episodes every week on your phone, tablet, computer, or smart TV. Let's Fish TV is proudly backed by Bobby Garland Crappie Baits and the original Baby Shad and new slab Huntar Minnow. Place your glove. Stay outdoors longer with our gloves, hats, and shades. Balls out. Made in the USA. Heavy duty mounts for your fish finders. And by Camus Boats. Tomorrow's tournament boat today. Glad you're back with us. It's time for the Ask the Pro question. This week, Reed would like to know, if you were not fishing professionally, what would you be doing? For an answer, we asked Bassmaster Elite Angler Stetson Blaylock. Yeah, for me, fishing's all I've known since I was 10 or 11 years old. I've tournament fished, I mean, made most of my money since I was 16, 17 years old. So for me, there's been nothing else, but my brother's a fireman. He has a lot of cool stories about being a fireman and, uh, and the things that he gets to do and the things he gets to see. So that's probably something I would look into. Thank you, Stetson. If you have a question for one of the pros, visit our website, letsfishtv.com. Click on the Ask the Pro link and send it in. Now let's check out the latest Big Catch of the Week winner. This week's winner in the Big Catch Contest of the Week is Derek Fulton of Groveton, Georgia with a one and three quarter pound crappie he caught at Clarks Hill Reservoir in Georgia. Hey, to enter the contest, go to our website at letsfishtv.com and follow the instructions on the homepage or go to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash letsfishtv and see our big catch post from last Tuesday and follow the instructions there. You and your big fish could be seen on our show. Hi folks, I'm gonna show you in a little better detail the rig that we were using today to catch all these fish. The line we were using was 30 pound braid with a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader attached to two using a uni knot. We're gonna put that diagram up on the screen for y'all on how to tie that knot. Now the end of the line is attached to a twist clip swivel. This allows quicker getting your bait on and off, just like that. The swivel allows the, the line not to twist using a soft plastic down south lure with an eighth ounce lead head. That's what we caught most of our fish on today. Swapped it up to a quarter ounce when the current was a little stronger. This fluorocarbon leader is gonna allow your, your line to disappear a little bit better and you're gonna catch more fish using a fluorocarbon leader. I hope you enjoyed the show today. Hope you learned something about weight fishing for speckled trout. Hey, these techniques will work anywhere there's speckled trout, redfish, or flounder in your area. Hey, Barry's gonna be back next week. I hope you enjoyed the show. I'm Captain Greg Verm. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you want to see more fishing tips, how-to videos, big fish catches, and full episodes of our Let's Fish TV show, be sure to subscribe right here to our YouTube channel. You can also like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter. Good fishing out there.